construction giant and contractor of the second Niger Bridge, Julius Berger, has formally handed over the bridge over the multi-billion Naira project to the federal government. In a brief ceremony at the toll area of the bridge, the Minister of Works, Dave Omahi, said he's satisfied with this project, confirming that the contractor had carried out repairs on the vandalized portions of the road. He also says the bridge is open to concession to any private company who will be ready to complete all the roads collect tools, and then recoup their investment. The job is impeccably very beautiful and they were completed. The, we have uh, the light issue and uh, we've put it together on how to permanently have light, especially at night. And what we have agreed is to deploy solar solution to that in the coming weeks so that every night we don't have to run diesel, we have to uh, run on solar. This project was uh, supervised jointly by the NSIA and the, the Ministry of Works and is under PIDF funding mechanism by the federal government. And uh, the structures we are seeing are the structures for the Tolim Plaza, the road is going to be completed when we have completed the two interchanges. One is taking us off from the Asaba town so that if you are coming to this bridge, you don't have to go through the Asaba town and encounter a lot of wood up. The other one and this is to be done by JB. The other one is to be done by RCC, which takes us up from here, avoid on Nisha town and they gets us to Bosi. And that is when this entire job was said to be completed. His Excellency President Borame Tunibu is very committed to completing this project so that uh, tooling can uh, start. However, if we get an investor who is prepared to fund the two interchanges, why not we hand over the project for construction under our HDMI program to the um, such an investor.